ya kwenye taarifa yetu ya kwanza ni kuwa awali ya asubuhi ya leo waziri wa utalii na jibalala kiandamana na waziri wa afya Cecil Kariuki wametoa taarifa rasmi kwa vyombo vya habari kuhusiana na mkurupuko wa maradhi ya Ebola uliripotiwa kuathiri watu 17 kutoka taifa la Kongo ijapo waziri Balala hakudhibitisha uwepo wa maradhi hayo nchini amesema kuwa taifa limejiandaa kwa hali yoyote ile maana habari wetu Cecilia wa kesho amekuwa akifuatilia taarifa hiyo na huyu hapa tayari kutujuza mengi Ladies and gentlemen on Tuesday 8 May 2018 the government of DRC informed the WHO um, of a new outbreak of Ebola virus disease in Bikoro province in the northwestern part of the country near the Republic of Congo Brazzaville. The Ministry of Health of DRC informed the WHO that two out of five samples collected from five patients tested positive for Ebola virus at the country's national laboratory in Kinshasa. Arising from this the Ministry of Health in Kenya has moved to put in place its health systems on a high alert. We have strengthened the routine screening of travelers at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport where we are this morning. We have also strengthened our routine screening in Busia, Malaba, Namanga, Wilson Airport as well as all other entry points are uh, into the country totaling 43 in all these places the ministry of health has installed the following one an electronic thermo screener or screeners where we need to have more than one we have also brought in handgun thermo scanners we also have brought in other support systems including deployment of 101 health workers the Ministry of Health affirms that there is no case of Ebola in the country. It is good to emphasize that there is no case of Ebola in the country, and indeed what we are doing are intervention measures uh, so that just in the event, further, and in order to mitigate any threat, my ministry has established the National Health Emergencies Council, which I set up two days ago. The role of this council, among others, is to act expeditiously to prevent importation of any virus or disease, which is of public health importance to us as a country. The government, through the Ministry of Health and that of the Ministry of Tourism and Wildlife, wishes to assure Kenyans and all travelers to Kenya that there is no Ebola case reported in this country that adequate measures have been put in place to ensure that such a virus will not be introduced or imported into the country. We are here this morning and have walked around to assess our readiness in terms of preparedness to respond to any emergencies. And I am happy to note, as I appreciate my team responsible for this, that indeed we are prepared uh, in the best way uh, possible. Thank you very much. Thank you, Waziri, and I want to congratulate you and thank you once again for your prompt action three days ago on uh, raising the alarm in the country. We are not at the doorsteps of DRC. DRC and Kenya is 3,700 kilometers where the the, the, the pandemic has happened. So, so I want to congratulate you and thank you and your team. And I have been here yesterday. Already I have seen uh, the thermal uh, gadgets and the screens that have been there put, uh, put by KAA and also by, by the Ministry of Health. We are ready. Kenya is ready to screen all the targeted areas where Probably Ebola can come, but we are very far from the Ebola area. But I can tell you we must be proactive. The last Ebola incident happened in West Africa. Did not affect West Africa. It affected the whole continent in terms of the continent being branded as an Ebola virus area. So this time 
I can assure you we have in Kenya here have taken action and I want to congratulate you and your team, Dr. Kefa, uh, Johnny Anderson, with your team here being prompt and, 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 and active uh, on that. But I have talked also to my colleague in DRC last night, uh, Honorable Frank Apello, and he has assured me they have contained the situation, they have worked with WHO, uh, and, and, and also the neighbors, both Brazzaville, uh, both West Africa, Nigeria, up to Gambia, all of them uh, in terms of countries, they have put the same equipment. So everybody in Africa has taken care of it. So I want to appeal to the international media, there is no Ebola in Africa. There is Ebola in an isolated area, in the remote area of DRC and WHO and the government of DRC are containing it. Uh, we want to assure our, our visitors as well uh, that uh, we will be do, doing screening uh, to most of the visitors, particularly from the targeted area, West Africa, uh, but we will also be uh, sensitive that we will be as friendly, as, as gentle, and as well as, as warm, receptive to welcome them to the country because there is no Ebola in Kenya and there is no Ebola in Africa. There is no only Ebola in an isolated remote area in the northwest of DRC, which is almost 4,000 kilometers away from Nairobi. So, so, so that is the message we have today. And I want to thank you once again, uh, my sister Cecily, uh, you and your team. Prompt action, the, the, the explanation we were given by Dr. Kefa yeah, it is seamless, it's effective, and it's fast, efficient. Uh, even the areas in Kenyatta National Hospital, they are ready, prepared, if there's any incident. But we don't anticipate. It is a rare disease. We don't anticipate incidents to happen in this country. Thank you very much.